Good morning, everybody. Good morning, all the people walking down here. Today is day two, and we're doing Hollywood Studios and bingo. Um, I feel like, because I'm so caught up in, especially Peter being here for the first time in like 20 years, I didn't film as much on day one. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, I will try to film more today. I'll try to be more cognizant of it. Um, probably still have a tired face on. I'm a bit tired. It's a little early, but not that early. So I woke up at 7.30 because Rob tells me last night, 7.30, 8 o'clock breakfast. I'm texting him, nothing. I text our friend Laura, she goes, oh yeah, he's snoring. I go, Rob's the one who told me 8 o'clock breakfast, sharp. Um, so I called his room and he had no idea that it was me. And he picks up very serious hello, and I was like, hello, and he was like, oh god, alright, I'm getting up, so, he didn't even realize it was 8.15, so I'm kind of waiting on him, waiting on Peter, um, so I thought I'd just come outside and enjoy it, out here a little bit, and people watch, um, I really do love the theming here, um, it's super beautiful, and I've been to the actual real French Quarter in New Orleans, and, like, this totally looks like it. Um, the buildings and everything, and the gardens, a little fountain over there, I don't know if you can see it, maybe if I zoom in, um, yeah, there it is, really pretty. So quiet. Do you want me to ruin the quiet? I mean, I can kick. I can. It's so quiet that I can just delete the audio, so it doesn't matter. I don't think I've gotten you. I've rarely gotten you in video so far. I well, that's because we were all bouncing around. I know. We've learned that it's difficult. Once you split up to try and rip, it's like it's like docking two ships in space. It takes so much coordination and time, and you just undock for a second, and it's like that's it. <laughs> yep, that's and the then you're day. just floating, and you're like, right. eh, I'm because trying. Nobody but... wants to just wait too long, so it's like we have to find the perfect meeting point. And that right. could have been this morning if Laura didn't let me sleep in. <laughs> so it's her fault, is what I'm saying. No, I gave you a second wake up call. Also, what's up with Baymax's lame wake-up call? Have you gotten it yet? No, we didn't do any wake-up calls. It's just surprisingly been alarm. lame. I'm a little disappointed. What does he say? He's like, uh, hello. It's like, uh, I recommend one day of fun or something. Here's the thing that annoys me. He doesn't say goodbye. He just stops talking. I and mean, it's just <laughs> dead phone. And you're like, okay. So right, hang, hang up, up now. What, what do I do? Well, this is pretty. I didn't even come down here yet. This is nice. Super nice. So is this where the boat goes for? Yep. Okay. So the boat you get down there. Mm -hmm. Apparently. <laughs> what? 25. 26. Oh, I missed it. We're keeping count. Of of lizards? Of see, yeah. I saw one online for something yesterday. Uh, in Animal Kingdom. I think Peter, did, like, he liked Animal Kingdom, but right. then, surprisingly, when he got, oh, I gotta take this off. It's gonna be like in my face when he got to the Magic Kingdom. He was like, you know, this is nicer. Like this really? is yeah. And I was like, I, I thought, thought he was gonna hate like it. Kiddier, right? But I think he appreciated how like nice the theming and how much they put into it. He said Animal Kingdom. He liked it, but it felt a little bit. I guess like something he could see at another. Yeah, like the the theme is something he sorry, could see at another park. Like a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> and then he went to yeah. He was like. He's like, you know, this is the, the original, you know, it's really nice. And <laughs> I, I'll like, admit, right. because what, when you first knew that the plan was going to be Animal Kingdom, then Magic Kingdom, I right. thought it was good. He'll be introduced to, like, Dinosaur and Expedition Everest, the more crazier rides, mm -hmm. which are a little more, I guess, Ooh, this older. Is side. Yeah. But then, as we were walking through Dino Land, which I've learned, I realized, like, it goes beyond, like, I'm not a fan of it, but I don't think I like Dino Land. 
Oh, I don't like it still, either. I walked around and I was like, ah, oh, is this the impression he's getting? Is that it's like a cheap I actually told like, him when we were walking in there, I was like, by the way, I hate Dinoland and here's the reasons why. Yeah, it is not um, very Disney-like. Yeah, I said it. They I, need I, to just, the theming is just terrible. It just st sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. I'm not I saw it. all the walls around um, Primeval World. Hopefully they're just... They're refurbing it, I think. Ah. But, yeah. Just remove it. Get rid of it. <laughs> I could come up with so many good ideas. You can just know. put your hand in a bag and pull one out and use that. <laughs> for free. For free. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Animal Kingdom crap this time. Oh my god, I'm really hating on Animal Kingdom. Yeah, like Six Flags Junior. No. Bush Gardens. Yes, it, you know? More like Bush Gardens. Less like Six Flags, more like Bush Gardens. Wow. We're recording that. We're recording each other. We're going to be starting bingo in a second, and Laura said we have to get our stupid videos out of the way. So we're going to give him a bingo. We're going to do bingo? We are going to do bingo. Having we're, we're, we're recording each other, recording our bingo. This is the master bingo. It's great. You can walk away. <laughs> Okay. Right. We're so, swapping. We're yes. Swap bingo. Rules are. What are the rules? The first person to get a bingo wins. Yes. A bingo. I have four you know, copies you know in here. Are you I didn't serious? Know, I didn't know what you're gonna do today. Maybe you rip a copy or you lose a copy. You're, wait, that's a real serious thing. You have four copies in there? There's like three copies in there. Hey, I didn't want it to be like Bingo's Ruined because you lost your copy. Well, if you lose this copy, Bingo's Ruined. Okay, well, good luck. Good luck. Uh, focus, there we go. Looking at my Bingo card, I think we're gonna do this one. We're walking this way. Bob's very confident he's gonna win Bingo in 10 minutes. It's fine, whatever. If I start singing copyrighted songs, will you have to edit it out? Well, if you they're long enough, Happy I think. Oh, really? Yeah, that fell out of it's in public domain as of uh, this week. All right. Let me, it, uh, I mean, here you go. I need to cross off one of my bingo things. Stand there. I'm going to play really lame air guitar. Wait, stop. got to stop. I'm going to play air guitar. Done. <laughs> that was my air guitar. I couldn't cap. No, nope. <laughs> I was not gonna let you. <laughs> Wait, but I know I have no way to cross off my finger thing. Mentally. Mentally cross it off. Okay. Thirty minutes. That's nothing. Let's do it. That's nothing. Let's do it. Because that's like we've entered the land of the dreaded barbell door. <laughs> they changed the ads a little bit. <laughs> These marble doors are probably full of people's handprints. Who we'll like to go like this? And it's really annoying. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, we have now every germ. Yep, we have every child, nope. In every country, in every land. Should I lick my hand? Okay. Only if you do it on camera. And then, the if you do it on camera and then we document the disease that you get a week later, then yes. Get a little bit. Oh, hold on. You're walking too fast. No, what was, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right? What was your rating? Uh, we'll give it a, we'll give it a, an 8 for speed and an 8 for G's. Uh -huh. um, we'll give it a 7 for theming, 8.2 overall. Pretty good. And what about, does the, uh, the launch oh, yeah. well, get the anything? Yeah, they get a launch bonus and a uh, music bonus. Wow. So that, that's the highest rated ride so far, I think. They got a launch bonus and a music bonus from him. Good, so double bonus. I think that's <laughs> that was so funny because I recorded with the launch and then he's walking so fast that, that Bob's going, yeah, he doesn't even see it. He doesn't even see it. It was great.
Uh, yeah. When we uh, when we launched, I just heard him go, "Whoa!" <laughs> What's the name? Three. There's pro okay. Shut up. There's props from the movies. We're, I mean, from the show. We're supposed to name the episodes that they're in. That's my bingo card. I don't know. This place get a TripAdvisor. Not very good. Let me tell you. Oh, I missed like all of the props, so I didn't get to name any of them. It's out of order, Laura. <laughs> No, we are in line for not Tower Tower, we're in line for Great Movie Ride. What was your rating of Tower Tower? The Tower of Terror gets a 1 for speed, a, nine, a 9 for G's, a 10 for, a 10 for theme. We'll give it some Rod Sterling bonus points and some spooky bonus points. Uh huh. Overall score 8.9. Wow. So, Tower Tower Rock and Roller Coaster are clearly winners in your book. Correct. Yeah, that, those two, and uh, the Mount Everest ride, where, the Yeti ride were pretty good. Yeah. Those are top three right now. Interesting. Good top three. And Turner Classic Movie, please welcome our host for this one of a kind tour. Robert Osborne. Thank you for ready for Hollywood indeed. What better way to start our journey? From the Old West to the rooftops of London and along the Yellow Brick Road, there really is no place like the movies. One of Hollywood's significant contributions to the world of film were great musicals. This scene is from one of my favorites, the 1933 Busby Berkeley spectacular Footlight Parade. One of the most famous of all dance sequences is from the 1952 musical classic Singing in the Rain. Here's Jane Kelly singing in the rain. Literally. Ah, here's one of the quintessential Disney musicals, Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. This classic earned 13 Academy Award nominations. Chim Chim Tree. I love this song. Sing along. Desperately trying not to be noticed. Who was this mysterious fellow? <laughs> 
And what was his secret mission? Ha <laughs> ha